его вара, печка била праздна. Тыш мы попьяли, а добрый ж не смели. Тыш мы попьяли, а добрый ж не смели. Тыш мы упустили приговор, печка била праздна. There we go. Well, I, I just remembered to turn the recording on, but we got the uh, last couple of that at least. Oh, yeah. uh, I think when sound, you hear sound it. Sound quality is very good. Yes. Yeah, I good. think when you hear it, you'll That's be good to know. It's as close to perfect as we're going to get on Zoom. Yeah. <laughs> good. Well, that's it's close enough. So, Stuart, are you ready to give us one? Yeah. I'm reading. <clears throat> And when you're ready, please unmute and go. Yeah, I'm gonna do a couple of Guy Clark songs today. I was always impressed by the quality of his songwriting and the simplicity of it. This is a love song called Magnolia Wind. There's a great version of this by uh, Amy Lou Harris and John Prime. If you ever wanna catch that one. I'd rather sleep in a box Like a bum on the street Than a fine feather bed Without your little old cold feet And I'd rather be deaf Dumb and so blind Than to know that you're more die young than to live without you and I'd rather go hungry than to eat lonesome stew you know it's once in a lifetime and it won't come again it's here and it's gone on a I'd rather not walk through the garden again If I can't catch your scent on a magnolia wind Ya da 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 Ya da 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 Ya da 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 Drum. <laughs> Muting. <laughs> so please unmute when you're ready. Me 
need to unmute. Unmute Mary, Mary Jane. Yeah, you're, you're, you're still, still muted. muted. You want me to hit it for you here? Um, okay. There you go. Go down, Moses. Let my people go Oppressed so hard they could not stand Let my people go Thus saith the Lord, bold Moses said Let my people go If not, he'll smite the firstborn dead Let my people go Sounded just fine, Mary Jane. Yay! Yeah, no <laughs> yes, at all. Having some success. Well, I don't know whether it's the guitar strumming or the original sound, or maybe it's just a good uh, day. <laughs> combination, but it's whatever it was, it worked just fine. That's good. Good. So let's move good on to Mark. Thing for the first one. <laughs> Mark uh, doesn't need to set up original sounds since he does all of his stuff Acapulco. <laughs> <laughs> so <laughs> muting now. Uh, ready for you to unmute? Okay. <clears throat> Just
just a moment as I've, I've got, you know, some kibitzer over here. Okay. As uh, you know that there's been a lot of bad things said about China recently. And I just wanted to tell you that a hundred years ago, and I mean a hundred, uh, attitude was quite different. This is an occasional song from 1920 called China, We Owe a Lot to You. I hope I get it in the right key. When I woke up the other morn, I saw a new republic had been born. There, was, there is to be democracy in China. We congratulate her, but we know old China too. Did a lot for me and you, so now her freedom's won. Let's thank her for what she's done. Oh, China, way down in Asia Minor, no, nothing could be finer beneath the sun. You gave us silks to dress our lovely women. They're worth the price. And when we couldn't get potatoes, you gave us rice. We ate chop suey with your chopsticks. You taught us a lot of neat tricks we never knew. And there's just one more thing in this I mean. Your laundries keep our country clean. China, we owe a lot to you. Yes. <laughs> And now they just want to sing that. Uh, uh, you know, your <laughs> lawyers keep our country good. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. I, I don't know where you find those. That's great. Okay. I'm not sure where that came from. Okay. I thought before we get started, move on to Chip here, I thought I would share this with you. I just ran across this little piece. And I thought it might be appropriate to our little group here. This was written by. Um, Edward Plunkett Lord Dulcine. Uh, he was he was an Irish uh, uh, writer, Irish English writer, and uh, sort of uh, uh, very early fantasy writer. And he wrote he wrote these tiny short stories. They were so small, you know. They're more like poetry. And this is one I stumbled across um, called "The Songless Country." The poet came unto a great country in which there were no songs, and he lamented greatly, I'm sorry, he lamented gently for the nation that had not any little foolish songs to sing to itself at evening. And at last he said, I will make for them myself some foolish little songs so that they may be merry in the lanes and happy by the fireside. And for some days he made them aimless songs such as maidens sing on the hills in the older, happier countries. Then he went to some of that nation, as they sat weary with the work of the day, and said to them, I have made you some aimless songs out of the small, unreasonable legends that are somewhat akin to the wind in the veils of my childhood, and you may care to sing them yourselves in your disconsolate evenings. And they said to him, if you think we have time for that sort of nonsense nowadays, then you cannot know much of the progress of modern commerce. And the poet wept, for he said, alas, they are damned. <laughs> true, true. Yeah. I, my favorite phrase in that is, is uh, what that made you songs out of the small unreasonable legends. <laughs> <laughs> if that doesn't describe folk music, I don't know what does. <laughs> so, Chip, I'm now muting. Where did it come from, Terry? Again, Lord Dul du uh, excuse me, Dunsany. Lord Dunsany or Dunsany. I'm not sure how it's pronounced. Uh, he was uh, he produced hundreds of these little short stories. And was a big influence on the uh, like the weird tales uh, writers like H.P. Lovecraft and, and and those guys, but they were mostly kind of sort of 
dreamy parables and fairy tales that he wrote. Yeah. He's a very interesting guy. Southern time. Yeah, lived from uh, late 19th century up through 1957. There's a whole story behind why I was reading Lord Dunsany this, uh, <laughs> this week, but I'll spare you that. Okay, now we are muting. So, Chip, please proceed when ready. All right. That's a hard act to follow, but if I do, if I do get to a second tune, I'll do you one of my own little twiddles that probably also falls into something insignificant. But this one, this is a song um, I have, I have sung, I don't think I've done this on a Saturday yet, but I've done it, uh, I played this song, the first time I ever performed it for anybody was actually for my parents. Um, it's, a, it's a rite of passage song, it's about uh, leaving home for the first time when you're young, so it's kind of fun. It's written by Murray McLaughlin, and it was performed by Tom Rush, who I loved in the 60s and 70s. Is that coming through okay, the guitar? All right, good, here we go. It's called Child Song. Goodbye, Mama, goodbye to you too, Pa. Little sister, you'll have to wait a while to come along. Goodbye to this house and all its memories. I guess we got too old to stay here on. Got to take one last trip to my bedroom. Guess I'll have to leave some stuff behind It's funny how the same old crooked pictures Just don't seem the same to me tonight There ain't no use in shedding no more tears, Ma and shouting at me, Pa. I can live no longer with your fears, Ma. I love you, but that hasn't helped at all. Each of us must do the things that matter. All of us must see what we can see Though it was long ago, you must remember You were once as young and scared as me I don't know how hard it is yet, Mom When you realize you're getting old I know how hard it is now to be younger I know you've tried to keep me from the cold Thanks for all you've done, it may sound hollow Thanks for all the good times that we've known But I must find my own road now to follow You will all be welcome to my home I've got my suitcase and I must go now I don't mind about the things you said I'm sorry mom, I don't know where I'm going Remember little sister, look ahead I'm 
Tomorrow I'll be in some other sunrise Maybe I'll have someone at my side Mama, give your love back to your husband Father, you have taught me well goodbye Goodbye, Mama, goodbye to you too, Pa. Yay! Thank you. Lovely as Thank always, you. yeah. Thank you. Appreciate that. Thank you. Oh. Okay, and I see Jim has joined us. Uh, Hi. Let's... Hi. Let's give some appreciation to our listeners, uh, Nancy and the audience, who I think is Elise, right? Yeah. Hi. <laughs> so I think we're around to Larry now. So when you're ready to unmute, you can give us a tune. You're still muted, Larry. Oh, Larry, unmute. Uh, there we go. There you go. Oh, he came on, we came on, Mr. Johnny. Ah, uh, 
Yes, pass the rum. Right. I just want to say, uh, we, we've had this discussion before, Larry. That is the one, the most powerful banjo I, I've ever heard. With that resonator on it, you know, that's just an acoustic instrument that's louder than most electric instruments. So. <laughs> right, right. <laughs> You want to show us your yeah, I, I, I'm, a, I'm a, aware of that. Probably, you know, it in this situation, a closed space like that, it's it's overpowering. I'm sorry, but I'm well, just an overpowering You just need person. to play it six feet away from your body, and you'll be fine. If I could play the banjo six feet away from me, it, it, it would work out fine. <laughs> you can use one of these highly technical solutions, like here's my friend Rainbow the Quiet Bear. You've heard the story of it Rainbow. Would, it would be, like it, on, on this particular banjo. He lives that, inside that the banjo. Yeah, yeah. But you have to take the resonator off. That's the thing. Uh, taking the resonator off this thing is to get, pain. To get it's your bear. Getting yeah, them in yeah. and out could be tough. Yeah, yeah. Well, it, it was designed for volume, you know. It, yeah. That's, that's what... Uh, yeah. Uh, you know, I I, uh, I I love watching you know old Rinky Tink bands, you know, the, or videos, and and they have a banjo player, and you just really have to yeah. <laughs> have to listen to even hear it. Uh, yeah, that, that's a honky tonk banjo if I've ever heard one. Well, that's yeah. when, when banjos kind of migrated to uh, uh, New Orleans jazz and Chicago jazz. You know, they had to have resonators. Well, and I, I I can I can play it without pick. It makes it quieter. But, but that was the I'll whole thing was being heard over a horn section. Right. Or at least heard well enough to give a little chunky you know rhythm a chunk, chunk. But, yeah, yeah. but larry larry and terry you know you know how you can tell whether or not a musical performance stage is level or not right <laughs> the uh, drool comes out of both sides of the banjo player's <laughs> mouth i heard that with the drummer <laughs> that maybe i heard true. it with the bass player but but you know <laughs> it's a multi-use joke it is yes uh, <laughs> yes instrumentalist well, Jim, I'm glad to see you. Uh, can we can we move along to uh, uh, you to have a song? I'll, All righty. I'll mute everybody. And uh, and now we are ready whenever you unmute. Say a um, song from Dick Goffin, and um, there are maybe three or four words that I probably should explain beforehand. Um, a factor is the fellow who collects the rent. The brew is the bureau, is the labor exchange. It's where you go uh, if, when you're on the dole. Um, and a claymore is a sword. <sighs> I was listening to the news the other day. I heard some fat politician who had the nerve to say he was proud to be Scottish, by the way. For the glories of our past, I remember. His face was like us. Listen to the cry. No surrender to the truth. Here's the reason why. The power and the glory is just another bloody lie they use to keep us in line. Where well, there's no gods and there's precious few heroes, but there's plenty on the dole in the land of the Lil. And it's time now to sweep the future clear of the lies of a past that we know were never real. So it's farewell to the heather and the glen. They cleared us off once and they'd do it all again. But I still prefer sheep to thinking men. Ah, but men who think like sheep are even better. There's not so much to choose between the old lord and the new. They still don't give a damn for the likes of me and you. Just mind you pay your rent to the factor when it's due. And mind your bloody manners when you pay. But there's no gods, and there's precious few heroes. 
but there's plenty on the dole in the land of the Leo. And it's time now to sweep the future clear of the lies of a past that we know are never real. And tell me, will we never hear the end? A pair bloody Charlie at Culloden once again, though he ran like a rabbit down the glen, leaving better folk than him to be butchered. Or are you sitting in your council house, dreaming of your clan, waiting for the Jacobites to come and free the land? Try going down the brew with a claymore in your hand and count all the princes in the queue. Well, there's no gods and there's precious few heroes, but there's plenty on the dole in the land of the Leal. And it's time now to sweep the future clear of the land lies our past that we know are never real. Um, I've lost it for a second. Hold on. So don't talk to me of Scotland the brave, for if we don't fight now, there'll be nothing left to save. Or would you rather stand and watch them dig your grave while you wait for the Tartan Messiah? He'll lead us to the promised land with laughter in his eyes. We'll own the bonny oil and the whiskey by and by. Free heavy beer, pie suppers in the sky. Will we never have the sense to learn that there's no gods and there's precious few heroes, but there's plenty on the dole in the land of the Leo. And I'm damn sure that there's loads of living fear of the day we get together with our shoulders at the wheel. Where there's no gods. Yeah. Fierce. Uh, Neo atheist. Fierce, my brother. Fierce. Yeah. You need the, the song really needs um Goffin's guitar though, which is just an amazingly uh an amazing instrument. But you can't have everything. It really, it really nails all those romantic Jacobites. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I love, I love try, try going down the brew with a claymore in your hand and count all the princes in the queue. <laughs> you know, I saw listed in a listing of songs about Bonnie Prince Charlie, the song that... Charlie, he's a good old man. Charlie, he is dandy. Charlie, he's a good old man. And he feeds them girls on candy. Unlikely. <laughs> <laughs> this sounds like an American. Well, this song is uh, kind of a staple of the repertoire of African-American string brand musicians in North Carolina for years and years. And you can hear it uh, played by, uh, he says, oh. Mute That's us. my mute signal. Muting, oh, mute everybody else, okay. I thought if I muted me, you couldn't hear my story, and maybe that was the point. But anyway, there we are. So you can hear it uh, from Etta Baker and Libba Cotton and uh, uh, folks like that. There were a surprising number of, uh, of African-American banjo players uh, from that region. Uh, 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 Reverend Gary Davis is another one, though I don't think he ever did this one. My God. Uh, and of course, plenty of uh, white uh, performers in the old time and, and bluegrass traditions. And I heard it from uh, uh, from George Pegram and Red Parham. Uh, Chris, do you remember the old Pickin' and Blowin' album? Yes, he does. And George's style was sort of a really hard driving thumb lead. Uh, and it, so it came out kind of like a proto bluegrass. So here it is, Georgie Buck.
Versa, actually. Well, have you, I don't know if you've ever read uh, uh, Celia Conway's book mm -hmm. on the African American influence on the banjo, and she talks a lot about that song and uh, some of the people she dug out of the deep backwoods of North Carolina, like Dink Roberts, uh, and so it's, it's it's really a very old song. I, I would have no doubt that Charlie Poole played it at one time or another. Well, it's a couple things about it. One is it also, it, it could have even been a part of Feast Here Tonight, sometimes called Rabbit in a Log, because some yeah, of the words right. are yeah. the same. But the other thing, I've got a dear friend, and uh, he lives in actually Lake Worth, Florida, uh, Tony Thomas, who plays the banjo, who is arguably the, one of the the experts on african-american banjo mm. in the country he's uh, he's done an awful lot of publishing but uh we hope to interview him on one of our aftm that'd be uh, great interviews yeah well uh the conway oh i won't get off into that i'll be yakking here forever uh so yeah, it's almost as bad as somebody starting to talk about banjos yeah <laughs> Banjo history <laughs> gets even worse. <laughs> and obscure banjo players. Well, you know, I think George Pegram was the first 
guy I ever saw with a resonator on his banjo. Uh, and he used thumb picks too. And so it was, it was almost, so look, I've got a phone call from Stuart Hampton. Where is Stuart? Calling you. Hi, Stuart. Did we lose you? Oh, I see. Okay, well, we'll look forward to seeing you back. Okay, bye-bye. Well, that was Stuart. He had a power failure. Oh, no. I didn't notice that we lost him, but there he goes. So let's let's do another ride around the merry-go-round. So uh, uh, Nancy and Elise, you guys are still just listening, or did you want to offer one? Hello, everybody. Can you hear me? Yes, we can. Wow, I've made progress. Yeah. I'm still busy pushing different buttons. Maybe next week, though. Okay. Sure, I'm enjoying everybody. Just wanted to check. So. In that case, well, you can hear me and see me, right? Yeah, we can hear you very well. You're coming through just fine and see you. And we see the Perfect. guitar on your wall and you know, all that stuff. So, Perfect. So, thank you. Thank you. Chris, I'm muting everyone. So when you're ready to give a song, please unmute. You're still muted, Chris. I see your mouth is moving, but that's about it. Try it again. Okay. Am I here? Okay, good. Okay, I'm gonna play a little something, a um, uh, bluesy number by the Balfa Brothers. And, uh, like a lot of Cajun blues, it's in three, four time. It's called uh, La Valse de Bombochet, the, the uh, drunkard's waltz. Have you heard of David Greeley? Oh yeah, oh yeah, one of my heroes. Yes, yeah, he's got yeah. a couple pretty neat, neat recordings. Oh, he does. He's 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 a great fiddler, and he's got a very unique style. But very traditional, but but unique to him. Yes, but it's 
but for the untrained ear, it, it does. It's very Cajun sounding. Oh, it is. Yeah, yeah that, that's his main heritage. Mm -hmm. Hey, well, I guess, oh, there's Stuart. Uh, there you are, back from your adventures in the ozone. All those banjos really took down your power? <laughs> <laughs> Most likely. You're, you're well, muted, Stuart. Yeah, well, since you're back, can you give us a song? I'm muting everyone, so hold on. Yeah. Sorry. Yeah, the resonator. We're ready now. Yeah, unmute again, please. Yes. The resonator. That's what it was. Yes. Now, uh, we've noticed in this neighborhood we've been to in a few years, when it gets really hot, uh, some of the, uh, the local, uh, yeah, what you call them, electrical, uh, you know, power places they they get a little wonky all right it's another guy clark song <clears throat> it's a <clears throat> fairly well known one desperate desperados waiting for a train there's a jerry jeff walker version of this that lasts about nine minutes so like a three minute rock folk country electric solo in the middle we won't do that this is the more simpler version. Great song. I play the Red River Valley. Heat it in the kitchen and cry. Run his fingers through 70 years of living. I wonder, Lord, has every well I've drilled gone dry? We were friends, me and this old man, like two desperados waiting for a train. Two desperados waiting for a train. He was a drifter, a driller of oil wells. Us teachers, schoolman of the world, taught me how to drive his car when he was too drunk to. He'd wink and give me money for the girls. And our lives were, well, like some old western movie, like desperados waiting for a train to this. Desperados waiting for a train. Yeah, from the time I could walk, he'd take me with him to a bar called the Green Frog Cafe, where old men with beer guts and dominoes would lie about their lives while they play. As a kid, they called me sidekick, just like desperados waiting for a train, like desperados waiting for a train. Well, one day I looked up, he's pushing 80, brown tobacco stains all down his chin. To me, he was a hero of this country. So what's he doing all dressed up like them old men? Just drinking beer, playing moon and 42. We were desperados waiting for a train. Desperados waiting for a train. The day before he died, I went to see him. I was wrong, he almost gone. But we closed our eyes and dreamed us up a kitchen and sang one more verse to that old song. Come on, Jack, son of a bitch is a coming. Just like desperados waiting for a train. Like desperados waiting for a train. We were desperados waiting for a train. Just like 
Close to home. Close to home. Close to home. Close to home. In that is he's one of the heroes of this country. So That's why right. are the old dress left up like them old men? That's right. <laughs> Here we are. And Stuart, I think you should speak for yourself. <laughs> <laughs> All right. All right. Okay. I am muting in anticipation of Mary Jane taking a turn. We are ready for you, Mary Jane. Okay. There you go. This is a Hazel Dickens song, West Virginia, Oh My Home. West Virginia. Dickens. 
Yeah, quite lovely. Great song. I heard her mention it. I think Chip Beautiful has channel. done some Hazel Dickens songs. Do you know Mama's Hand? Have you ever heard Mama's yeah. Hand? By that's no, this, this is the beautiful. only song I do by Hazel Dickens. I think I have an album, but this is the only one I've learned. She's written, she wrote so many wonderful tunes. So many wonderful tunes. Okay, uh, so um, we're up to Mark if he's still with us. No, he's disappeared into the, the Polish <laughs> mist here. <laughs> Yeah, uh, the, the sun just went down. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> and the power went off. <laughs> Probably. <laughs> so banjos Chip, will reach all the way across the Atlantic Ocean. Yeah, banjos across the ocean. What a, <laughs> what a concept. Yeah. Okay, Chip, I'm muting. All right. And I don't I don't mean to pick on banjo play. Oh no, I'm sure you don't. <laughs> We'll start telling mandolin jokes here. Trouble is, I don't think there are any. I didn't mute, didn't unmute. Sorry about that. All right. So yeah, yes, what's the I'm difference not sure. between a mandolin and a cheese grater? <laughs> you can tune a cheese grater. <laughs> Touche. <laughs> All right, well, let's see. I was going to do a mandolin tune here, and I did tune my mandolin just a moment ago. Um, and this is going to be in the key of A minor, um, and it does have a few funny non-A minor-ish chords. It's got a D in there somewhere, and it does have an E7 and an E minor, so just kind of go along. It's, this is a song that I tune that I wrote. I've written a lot of tunes. Um, this tune I did write in the 2018 time frame just before the midterm election in hopes of a specific outcome so it's appropriately named blue flowers in the rose garden so here we go and i'm going to play strum machine behind it here hopefully i've got them balanced pretty well Okay, after that, no more mandolin jokes. Okay, no. 
Thank you. Thanks. Great. Uh, so I think we're back. Hey, hey, there was a second mandolin playing in the background there. Cool. Oh, I believe. Was that Nancy? Was that what Nancy was yeah, playing? Yeah, it was. We can see you, Nancy. <laughs> no, a, a mandolin's its own background. You know. There you are. Yeah, there it was a mandolin. There it was. <laughs> I can see your plan, but I couldn't tell what. Yeah, very good. <laughs> Okay, uh, Larry, I am muting now. Oh, okay. Okay. All right, ready for you. All right, in deference to Stuart, I'm taking off my picks, okay? This is Bear, Bear Knuckle Banjo. <laughs> Method. Those third grade songs, you know, still have a little life left in them. That's the version of Buffalo Gals that we all know. Buffalo Gals. Yeah, you go to the you go to these uh, you know old time jams. They play a different version of Buffalo Gals. Oh, where's my capo? Go up to G. Tutor here and mute all you other guys. Well, this was uh, this song is started life as a chain gang song <clears throat> but it seems to have escaped into the wild and I first heard it on a 78 record that we had in our house <laughs> that uh, was done by a folk singer kind of long forgotten guy named Sam Hinton and this was the B side of, t of Vern Partlow's Talking Atomic Blues but that's another story <laughs> Thank you. 
if I had to listen to what Rosie said, I'd have been back at home in my Rosie's bed, but I wouldn't listen. Jailhouse bound that long John He's long gone Like a turkey to the corn With his long John song He's long Sometimes they just keep getting farther and farther away from your mouth. <laughs> and then the next thing you know, they're in your mouth and you can't sing. It's a mess. Well, Long John made him a pair of shoes. There was the funniest shoe that you ever did see. They had a heel in the front. And a heel behind So you couldn't tell where That boy was the one He's long gone He's long gone Like, like a turkey through the corn Shut the door. Well, the hounds is a coming, and I got to go. Well, hello, honey. How do you do? I done swam across the river just for to see you. I'm long, John. He's long gone. Like a turkey through the cone with long jumps on me, long gone, long, long jumps. <laughs> Captain and the sergeant too. If I call you next summer, be from Cali, Mizzou. I'm Long John. He's long gone, like a turkey through the corn. With Long John.
I was giving you an antiphonal response there, Terry. It was beautiful. Antiphonal. Oh, antiphonal. <laughs> thank you for the antiphonal. <laughs> the voice and answer. <laughs> yeah. Well, we're a small group today, so it's five around five thirty. Uh, would you like to go for another round, or uh, call it a call it an afternoon? What do you think? Hey, do I get to do a second number? Oh my you, goodness! You missed. You missed. I'm so sorry, uh, Jim. Please go right ahead and do a second. Number. Well, I'm going to have to bow out, Terry. So I'll I'll uh, I'll give you a call. Okay. All See right. you later. Bye -bye. Okay. okay, I'm I'm muting all. You know what was? You came in late and I didn't get you on my list. Is there anybody else I didn't get on the list? No. Okay, I'm muting. So get ready. A little. Uh... Bob Wills, you'll have to understand the ha oh, ha oh, San Antonio Rose. Hold on. You got to put San Antonio Rose on your ringtone. Well, whoever that was, doesn't matter. Within my heart lies a melody, a song of old Santone, where in dreams I live with a memory beneath the stars all along. It was there I found beside the Alamo enchantment strange as the blue above of uh, a moonlit path that only she would know still hears my broken song of love moon in all its splendor look don't know only in my heart call back my rose rose of sand and tone Lips are light and tender, like petals falling apart. Speak once again of my love, my own broken song, empty words I know, still live in my heart all alone. For that moonlit path by the Alamo, and a rose, my rose of San Antone. Broken song, broken song, empty words I know, still live in my heart all alone. For that moonlit path by the Alamo, and a rose, my rose of San Antone. Yay. You have to imagine the ha uh ha, -huh, Leon. Uh -huh. Yeah, yeah. That was one crazy band leader. <laughs> wonderful. And you know, that became a, a mariachi standard, too. Rosa de San Antonio. They all, they all did it along with, you know, Cucu. They do the aha. Uh -huh. like they don't do the aha uh -huh usually, but they do do. Rosa de San Antonio. Oh, anybody else want to do a song? Sure. I'm just, at this point, I'm just looking for deaf volunteers, or maybe maybe this is a, is this enough for this time? Or yeah, I, I gotta go. So. Okay. Well, we, we should we should shut it down. So we'll have another one next week, and then on Sunday we shall have not this Sunday, but the following we'll have stone soup session. So. Stay tuned. I hope everybody's getting your emails and everything okay. Yeah. yeah. Thanks for organizing this, Terry. It's good stuff. Yeah. It's my pleasure. So see you next week. Thanks a lot. Good night. Bye, all. Bye-bye.